Howdy, everybody. Welcome to yet another Instagram stream. One of these days I'll be able to do this on YouTube. Carp Hunter has joined the group. Hello, Carp Hunter. I had a few fish last night. Stayed here overnight and uh, woke up this morning 6.15 to a screaming alarm. Yeah, that was 22 pound common. Uh, just as the sun was coming up over the mountains, so it was, it was pretty epic. And then an uh, hour later, about a 14 pound common took off, fought like a big boy, but uh, it was just a little guy. But uh, I'm here. I've caught something like 26 fish in the past three days. Yesterday was up to 84 degrees, and uh, that was uh, slowed things down. Didn't have a bite until nighttime, right at sunset. Got the first fish. Um, it was probably a 15 pound common. And then uh, another alarm went off, and we gave that to the happiest seven year old boy you ever seen in your life. And he got a 22 pound mirror for his first carp ever. And uh, and an hour later, we had another alarm, and I passed that one to my buddy Connor. And that ended up being a 28 pound mirror. And uh, all in all, you know, even though it was a hot day, once it got dark, the bites picked up. Um, I was too tired to drive home, so I slept in my car with the window down so I could hear the alarms. But uh, we're fishing the Connecticut River in Vermont. And, uh, we're looking at the day is mid 70s, very light wind and uh, partly cloudy. There's lots of lots of carp crashing out here. I don't know if you're gonna see any of them, but there's just fizzing and there's jumping and there's just all kinds of mayhem so I'm excited I am really freaking excited I know it's gonna slow down for a while I need a uh, running out of food <laughs> I wasn't prepared to stay so long but I got some ramen noodles I'm gonna eat later I've got pretzels I got peanuts I'll live got lots of water to drink Carp Hunter, you're in Germany, Deutschland. How's the how's the fishing in Germany this year? It's just turned fire here in the past week. I know a little German, but it isn't that great. Uh, stupid little things like Hastu and Vogel. I totally, I totally have a bird. <laughs> Well, it's a beautiful day. I mean, it's just absolutely beautiful. We're looking around. We're starting to see the leaves finally pop up. Sick of looking at brown trees and dead grass. I'm ready to see some greens. I'm ready to see some flowers. Uh, spring is here. So I'm going to try to catch as many carp as I can before they start spawning. And then I'm going to go after trout for a while and put some meat in the freezer and then I'll go back to carp um, I 
that are running the bait today. These are jumbo tiger nuts I prepared myself. Um, they're flavored in almond extract. And uh, then I'm topping those with imitation corn uh, that I soaked in kimchi brine. And that little combination there, like I said, three days has put 26 fish in the net. And I'm gonna have a hard time moving off of that. I've only, I've only got probably 10 of these tiger nuts left and I think I'm gonna cry when I run out of them because they, they are just producing. I don't know if it's the tiger nut an almond extract or if it's the kimchi brine on the imitation coin uh, it's been sitting on that kimchi brine for about six months and uh, one or the other or both of them together one something is is driving these carp wild and I'm having the best opening season of my life uh, the other night I caught lots of fish approaching 40 pound mark a 38 a 35 uh, one was 32 uh, I doubled on mirrors it was insanity um, I uh, carp hunter I'm using uh, see that these are tiger nuts I prepared myself and on uh, top of that I'm get the old box out I am running just some imitation corns that won't come out of there the imitation corns that I flavored with kimchi the uh, brine so I, I make my own kimchi I love Korean food um, but you always end up with the, about eight ounces of brine after you eat all the kimchi and you pour it down the sink and I had this aha moment where I know that carp like fermented food hey yo Connor's in the house and uh, so yeah I put two and two together they like chili pepper and they like ferment so I decided to to try and experiment and do some kimchi corn and god they love it i highly suggested it you know just even if you don't eat kimchi you know if you know someone who does ask them for their 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 leftovers when they're done eating it there's always that much liquid left in the bottom of the jar uh, and like i said you should just pitch it down the drain and uh and that's that but don't waste it anymore. Just go to Amazon and get yourself a hundred, hundred of these imitation corns. Pop up. There's a pop up corn uh, carp hunter. So that part does pop up. But it's just uh, enough critically balanced where I don't have to use any tungsten putty or a split shot. The uh, the corn floats the tiger nut just over the top of my pack bait, and that's working great. We had a pile of us down here yesterday. We did a, Connor was here and uh, we did a film shoot. And um, it's on a public channels here in Vermont. So pretty excited. It probably won't hit the airwaves for another six months. There's, uh, we have to do a second shoot, get some more footage. Um, but I think it's gonna work out. Uh, my friend was looking for uh, carp to add to his channel. He's got everything but a, a few species that we have in Vermont that he's covered on his channel. So we're going to try to check carp off his list there. And I think we, we pretty much got halfway through it last night. Um, he's got to shoot some B-rolls and I got to do some... Uh, bait preparation 
uh, explanation of the rigs and stuff probably to fill out the rest of the show um, so he's gonna have to come back down and uh, we're gonna shoot that hopefully this month I don't know oh car punter I caught my personal best on a pineapple pop-up last fall that was a 41 pound common and it totally inhaled my pineapple pop-up I was sleeping in this very chair and uh, the alarm woke me up and it hit, hit hit at midnight and I was alone and I, I couldn't see the fish I I mean it was it was just all mayhem and I, when I finally got it in the net it, I knew it was a personal best. I they could, couldn't really lift it with my weak arm, and I had to switch to my my favorite arm. And my God, so I do love a pineapple pop up. Um, my favorite pop up of all time still is the CC Moore Northern Special One. Um, can't say enough about that. I mean, they smell so good, I want to eat them right out of the jar. Uh, it reminds me of some Skittles candies or uh, some kind of sweets that you buy at the candy store, and uh, the carp feel the same way. But yeah, pineapple is quickly becoming my new favorite flavor for pop-up. Um, I always reserve pop-up boilies and the my whole boily game i play that in the fall um i don't have much luck with boilies in the springtime uh what really produces for me in the springtime is a tiger nut paired with a piece of imitation corn and uh number six hook a uh, very short uh hair rig if at all possible, a two ounce sinker, put pack bait around my lead and just put my hook in the bottom part of the pack bait ball and I'm only casting 20 feet, 30 feet, no, no long distance game here. It's, um, as you can see, it's, it's not. It's not very deep. There's no need to cast a mile. There's just no need for it. I was started the stream because I saw a lot of activity around my hook baits, and then uh, I was like, "Okay, if I start the stream now, we're gonna get one while I'm live." And uh, but every time I do this. I'm sure if Connor's still watching, Connor knows that every time I do a live stream, I don't catch a fish. So I don't know why I do them. <laughs> I really don't. I just hope some, one of these days I'll do it and, uh, you know, there'll be some action. I do have a YouTube channel. If you're new to watching this, check out the link in my bio on Instagram. It'll give you a link to my YouTube channel like and subscribe my channel definitely subscribe once i hit 50 subscribers i can live stream there with uh way more perks and quality than i could ever on instagram um so carp hunter if you don't already uh, subscribe to my youtube channel please go over there and uh give it a look you know definitely subscribe it's, I've only launched it about three weeks ago. So um, it's very young. I only have 32 subscribers. Um, but yeah, I'm going to build it up. I want to do the live streams. I think those uh, will be entertaining and fun for everybody. And we'll just try to build a good community. Because there's nothing better than the carp community, I swear. Oh yes, Carp Hunter. I've never tried the Ronnie rigs. 
I do uh, hair rigs and a, a blowback rig. I tied some D rings up for this year, but I don't have any uh, I don't have any pop ups to put on it yet. Um, waiting for my cash flow to get better so I can put in a little bit of a carp order because um, I definitely want to get some pop ups and I'm in desperate need of of uh, lead clips and uh, all kinds of end tackle. I'm running out of leads after the past you know, 26 fish in a few days here. I, I am running out of lead so fast. Um, and nobody, nobody here in the States, you just can't walk into a carp store. The very first one is opening in two weeks, but it's gonna be about 300, 400 miles from my doorstep, so I, I mean, I go visit, he's a friend of mine, but um, we just don't have carp tackle shops in the States. So I, I went to all the fishing departments I could find in my local area. No one's got any sizable leads, nothing over an ounce. And I really like two or to three ounce leads gripper leads too I, they, they seem to hold a pack bait pretty good I hope I say this right that looks like Sijun I'm not even going to try to say that but welcome I'm just going to call you Sagan because I'm really bad with those kinds of things But uh, yeah, welcome to the live stream at the Connecticut River. Oh, we got an alarm.
I got him. First live stream fish. Bring y'all over here with me. It's a mirror. That's a good thing. Hook out of you. It was a nightmare. All right, folks. This is my first live stream fish. A banging, beautiful looking mirror. Let's look at the other side. Look at that. Spicy. Say hello to the chat. Boom. Oh. Mirror says hello, chat. Nice, scaly. It's almost fully scaled on this side. Get that out of the way. find the scale. Some water. Not big, but it's a mirror, it's 15 pounds. Uh, all right, folks, I turn you guys off. I gotta get this puppy back in the water, but I'm glad you're here to see that. Peace.